Hello, welcome to another spring garden tour, or late spring garden tour, should I say, of uh, Cornmill Garden. So, I hope you enjoy this one. All the aquilegias have gone over now. Um, well, leaving them to go to seed. So, uh, the foxgloves and the ferns have definitely taken the centre of attention at the moment. So, uh, here we go. I hope you enjoy this one. So we're starting here at the bottom of the garden. You can see there's a lot of ferns in this area um, and I plan to add more. I really like this one with the black stem. Um, absolutely beautiful and it really spreads out um, quite a lot. And at the bottom there we've got the bellflower. Um, lots of the Bina bonalensis coming through ready to flower soon um, in there as well. That I've transplanted. Got the per palm, the, the, the musu baju as well. Um, now the second, on the second leaf, about the third one about to come out. Um, this is a Herrenhausen fern um, variety. We can really see the colour difference generally with the fronds on this one. It's really, really quite beautiful. Um, and then down here we've got a new little beauty that I planted this week. Um, a gift to me from uh, my parents, which is very nice of them, which is a chain fern, which is I've always wanted. The amazing thing about this is it produces these tiny little cones that push the branch down to the soil and then another little baby fern will pop up. So that's why it's called a chain fern, I guess. It's beautiful there. Um, and that'll hopefully spread and become quite massive. Um, giant chain fern, it's known as as well, I think. Um, and you can see the tetrapanics here as well. It's massive leaves, keeps putting them out. Um, it's going to be a stonker by the end of the year. Um, you can see in here, in this little border, we've got the geranium and then these amazing peonies. Um, they're just common garden peonies and we've got a red one and a, a pink one here. Um, anything but common in the look of the flower, I'd say. Some absolute monsters on there. Um, Zappa just enjoying the sunshine down there. This pink one, the, the red one, the flowers haven't come out fully yet, but this pink one, you can see really the size um, that these blooms go to. It's the size of my hand. Um, so, yeah, really, really quite beautiful in appearance. And a real grand entrance to the, the sort of front part of the path of the garden. You can see inside there. Um, really nice. And the bees can still get into them. Um, so onto the next part of the garden now, you can see the oxide daisies um, running through here, creating a nice fairy path if you like. Um, we've got various little water bowls in amongst this for the bees at the moment. Um, so it's actually been quite dry weather um, the last couple of weeks considering it's West Wales. But nothing but raining now, we're complaining about the sun as well, let's not go there. But you can see these foxgloves are absolutely stunning this year. Um, huge like this some of these are as, as tall as some of the trees in this garden um, and the bees are absolutely loving them so I'm kind of keeping this part of the garden as what I'm going to call the bee garden and um, try and add more pollinators to it but we've got loads in here already at the moment there's lots going on throughout the winter and um, as well as during the spring and hopefully the summer months too with lots to come through still yet um, getting close to the mid sort of point of the year with the light already, I hate saying that believe it or not but um, there's still so many flowers still to make an appearance yet in this garden but you can see it's absolutely looking beautiful this part at the moment, just love the foxgloves. And we've got some uh, lovely flowers here just to show you. So the, the scabious here and the last one back there was a valerian um, and they have the scabious, the bees love these as well and nigella just lovely floating around in the wind down on the path here and then I, I love this grass um, there's probably a little bit too much of it in the border um, probably needs a bit of a fin out but it's called Quaker grass it's quite a 
common thing you see in a lot of people's gardens and it really does quake and if you pick it, it actually has a little rattle inside as well. Um, then we've got another type of valerian here. Um, this is the more narrow-leaved valerian variety. Um, grows wild all over the garden, beautiful. Um, another geranium here. Um, all the geraniums are starting to flower out now and then this Campanula bellflower. Um, this will spread. I brought this to the house from Dorset originally and hopefully it will spread as ground cover throughout this whole area making it look a little bit nicer in the shade. Now this rose is a beauty, um, purple rose. Um, not actually sure of the variety or name of it but it smells absolutely delicious. Um, and then we've got the um, Turkish sage here flowering at the moment as well. Um, really funny, very original looking flower on this one. Um, obviously comes from Turkey, in the, including the name and uh, I think Syria it grows in as well, some parts of Southeast Asia. Um, yeah, and then you've got the GMs as well, still going. Gunra, still pushing out bigger leaves each time, um, starting to take over the uh, the ones that got browned off in the storm now. Um, so I'll probably take those lower leaves off um, soon just to get rid of the unsightly brown appearance on them. You can see the dragonflies are already around the pond area, um, which is my current project I'm working on. I've got a lot to do on the pond. Um, it's kind of a bare patch of swamp and brambles and grass originally. I'm trying to leave it wild appearance but add some things to it as well. And then I just thought I'd show you a few of my potted plants. Um, so this Saka Coca, that smells absolutely beautiful in the midwinter, sort of early spring time. And then we've got my collection of Ioniums here, um, the red ones looking amazing in the sunshine at the moment um, really really lovely and they'll continue to grow taller each year I take these in in the winter and then pop them back out in the spring and then I just thought I'd show you this last little beauty um, it's a moonstone um, beautiful beautiful plant it just looks like a stone normally but just wanted to show you these flowers that have come out of it looking absolutely amazing at the moment you wouldn't expect that from such a what looks like a stone flower at or stone crop as they call them uh, but yeah this is a moonstone it's beautiful so that's it the uh, late spring tour of my garden hope you've enjoyed it and i'll just leave you with this glorious view